Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are still on the on-air Clumsy Airline series. Still flying the TBM 930 but this time from Katiklan to Tugigrao. It's going to be a 370 nautical mile journey so it will take quite a while. Maybe around 2 hours, uh, we'll see. But we'll skip to those meaty parts, okay? Anyway, I decided to bring you guys for the entire trip again. What is that? There is probably something, maybe a plane that spawned in. Let's have a look where that guy is. Yeah. Alright. Off you go then. <laughs> That's nice. Interesting, we can't hear him from here. Alright, so let's turn on track IR. Reset that. And let's start the plane. Cold and dark. Boot up sequence, strobes to on, press that. Ah, oh, that's, uh, that is the correct one. Okay, correct. Because we will be departing from runway 2 fourth day from Romeo Papa Victor Echo, that's the Katiklan airport. And we will be joining the, we will be following the Taper 3 Charlie departure. So Toss we system test. Okay. fly straight. We intercept the Katiklan NDB, I believe. So that should be 379er here. I plug that in. So 0379er. Transfer. And here the bearing for ADF should reflect that. There it is. Okay, so it sees that. That's good. So once we cross that NDB, we turn right on a 344 degree track to taper. If I go through here, MFT, um, oh, that's a bit far. There's taper. It does take quite a while. So let's zoom in first so I have a bit of guidance because I don't want to hand fly this. I, I've been missing this plane. All right, but that looks good. Anything else we can track? I think that's it. Let's go to the PFD page here, FMS. And yes, this is from a mod. Check out the mods list. Link is in the video description. That's why this looks different and much better looking. I've gotten a couple of questions like that in the past few days. All right, FD, flight director, nav. Looks good there. Okay, let's start the plane. Soaps are on, aux boost pump to on. Let's do this professionally. Let's go ahead and start the timer. And then start the ignition. There we go. NG is rising, oil pressure rising, propeller starting to spin. 13% NG introduce fuel. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. Roger that. In the timer, we want to check 30% NG before 30 seconds. There you go. And should be 52% NG before 60 seconds. And the ITT should not be going beyond the red line. Perfect. Looks good. We have a good engine start and make sure to go to flight idle. No, not there. Flight idle there. Otherwise, you risk overheating the engine. I'm not sure if that's also how it works in real life, but here in the sim, your uh, engine will overheat if you don't go to flight idle immediately. Nav lights, boost pump to auto, fuel selector auto, AP trims on, oxygen mask for the pilot on. Good. Alright, let's tune into tower and I will be requesting our IFR clearance. 108.6. Tower, good morning. TBM. Let's do that again. <laughs> Tower, good morning. TBM 1 Clumsy Lima, ready to copy IFR clearance. TBM 1 Charlie Lima is clear say to one Romeo Clumsy Lima. the uniform tango. <laughs> Climb via the TAP3C departure, then as filed. Expect departure runway 24. Climb to flight level 150 via the departure. 150. Expect higher clearances 9 minutes after departure. Departure on 125.7 squawk 4326. 
One, two, five, seven. Let's have our co-pilot do that. Read back. TBM one Charlie Lima is cleared to Romeo Papa uniform tango climb via the TAP 3C departure then is filed climb to flight level 150 via the departure expect higher clearances 9 minutes after departure departure on 125.7 squawk 4326. TBM one Charlie Lima read back correct. QNH is 1013 let us know when you're ready to taxi. QNH is 1013 DBM 1 Charlie Lima. Awesome. The runway heading for runway 24 is 246 degrees based on the charts. Alright, so let's put that there so we have additional guidance. 246 would be that one. Perfect. Okay, should be ready to go. One Charlie Lima, not one clumsy Lima. TBM1 Charlie Lima ready to taxi. TBM1 Charlie Lima taxi to runway 24. Taxi lights, parking brake off. TBM1 Charlie Lima advise when ready for departure. We'll go TBM1 Charlie Lima. Okay. Off we go. Since we're very near the runway here, just turn on the heaters as early as now. Set flaps for takeoff before we forget. Hold short here. Shortest taxi ever. And let's go and check our controls. All good. Free and clear. Tower TBM1 Charlie Lima ready for departure. Runway 24. TBM1 Charlie Lima backtrack. Runway 24 winds are calm cleared for takeoff. Runway 24. Backtrack to runway 24, then clear for takeoff 24, TBM1 Charlie Lima. Do they hear me? I guess so. That's what I like about this pilot to ATC. Runway is clear. They even detect that we need to backtrack to back taxi. Nice attention to detail there. Okay. So we go. All the way to the end there. Now I do need my landing lights when I enter through here. That should be good. And I do, I do want to hand fly this as long as I can. It might get a bit challenging because of the additional taxi, the, the frequency instructions, changing the frequencies interacting with air traffic control and uh, hand flying everything but we'll try because it is a lot more exciting a lot more involved um, yeah just go straight so let me show you the inconsistency a couple of people especially from here noticed that if you look at the chart from navigraph this is how the airport should look like already they since upgraded this airport in real life a couple of years back there's now supposedly an apron here on the right, a building, a, new, a whole new uh, gate, I guess, for airliners, and they extended the runway, that's why this part of the runway is white. But in the sim, the imagery is still a bit from the old one, so yeah, we don't have a building, and this is kind of like a semi-runway sort of thing. Happy enough that it is extended, but... It does not feel complete yet. It looks like a work in progress at this point. Okay. Let's line up here. Runway 24. I see 24 on the markings. 24 on the heading. Looks good. The NDB is straight from us. Let's align here. 246. Is it? Yes. That looks good right there. Okay. Off we go. Torque set to 30, 40 to 50%. <clears throat> Looks good. And off we go. Set takeoff power, that's around 90% torque more or less. Don't go beyond 100. Keep center line. We do have some proper minimal crosswinds here, just one knot, barely anything. Rotation speed at 90 knots. Let's keep that going. 90 knots. Rotate. 
just bit by bit. There you go. Airborne time locked. Positive rate. Tap the brakes. Gear up. Keep around a 10 degree pitch. 8 to 10 degrees would be safe, I guess. Although we do want to pitch for 115 knots. So here we're keeping it straight until we cross the NDB. There we go. 118 knots. Flaps up. Pitch up to counteract the flaps up behavior and turn on the yaw damper and we'll hand fly this thing. Right, so we'll keep on going straight until we cross the NDB. I mean, I imagine, I think we've crossed it already. Yeah, so we turn right from here. Looks good. Let's do a 25 degree bank here. Let's keep on this climb. TBM one Charlie Lima contact Manila departure on one two five point seven. Enjoy your morning. Departure on one two five point seven. TBM one Charlie Lima. Good morning. Okay. So since we have that tuned in already, you just transfer. Go back here, and we report in. Departure. Good morning. TBM-1 Charlie Lima, climbing flight level 150. I hope they got me. I hope they got me. TBM-1 Charlie Lima, good morning. Radar contact. Oh, that's Burakai, right below. Ah, yes. Oh, I miss Burakai. I think they're opening up Boracay again if they haven't already. Even though we have. Oh, I'm, I'm missing the magenta line because of Boracay here. Okay. That looks good. Now, the problem is if I go for nav here, let's do that again. FMS nav. Where is it leading me? Look at that point. Runway 24, so it hasn't detected that we are on runway 24 yet. That is a bit challenging. I hope that changes soon. Because once we go to nav mode, if you look at the magenta line here on the PFD, the arrow to the right, it will lead us all the way back to, I think, the runway is not a good deal right clear off any precipitation here inertial separator is coming off torque will rise so we'll have to watch the torque there still hand flying this thing that's why you can see the huge deviation but at the same time what i want to do is go and see uh taper let's see activate leg there you go that's the one i want that actually worked wow i'm impressed <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I don't have much um, uh, much reliance on the flight planning in this sim, but happy when it works. There it is, taper. Okay, the problem with the flight director here, and I am almost sure that this shouldn't be the case. Go flight level change here. Normally, you should be able to hand fly this thing. And uh, the flight director should be able to guide you where you need to go. And uh, what I mean by that is, even if you have autopilot off, if you look at the annunciation here, AP is not enabled, right? So autopilot is not really on, but we do have the flight director there. So normally, and I am very confident with this, the flight director should lead you to the magenta line. Like if you look at the the CDI here, we are actually off from the magenta line, so we need to go to the right. Normally, the the flight director should be also banking to the right, but here, if you don't have autopilot on, it is always just flat here. So the altitude changes, but the the roll doesn't you get what I mean? So let, let me illustrate it. So if I go far from the magenta line like this, 
you would expect that the field the flight director should be banking right before I forget turn off the landing lights otherwise we will get penalized by on air so I would expect that it would bank to the right to lead me to the magenta line but it's not that will only happen when I turn on autopilot like here see how the flight director banks that should be how it does even if autopilot is off that is something I'm almost sure of right but anyway minor details I guess all good that works with me let's push on the torque here get more power you can hear the engine struggling more really struggling but working harder is the better way to place it okay let's have a look at our uh, waypoints um, let's have a look at the MFD here flight plan so after taper we go direct Conde, Pablo, Banos, uh, Mia. That's a VOR. And also Cab. Uh, I'm not sure what Cab is. Cabanatuan maybe. Let's go Mia here. Now you can't see the VOR frequency from there. But you should be able to do that if you go to Waypoint Info. One second. Is that only for airports? I think it should be okay either way in any any waypoint. So if I put in Mia, oh no, that doesn't work. So this is only for airports. TBM one Charlie Fine. Lima climb and maintain flight level two two zero contact Macton Center on one two seven point five. Good day. Climb and maintain flight level two two zero center on one two seven point five. TBM one Charlie Lima. 127.5 At least we have a center frequency today. Sometimes that doesn't we don't get handed over. Right, let's go and report in. Center, good morning. TBM1 Charlie Lima climbing flight level 220. TBM1 Charlie Lima, good morning. Radar contact. Looking good, and we did cross 11,000 a while back, so we should move to standard altimeter here. 29902. There you go. Looks good. Everything is good. Autopilot is now on. From here, it's mainly a sightseeing tour. Let's have a look at from outside. It will get a bit loud, guys, okay? So hang tight. There it is. Beautiful lighting. There's Puracay right at our max. Some pretty heavy clouds there, but over here is actually quite nice weather. Speaking of weather, how are you guys liking that new plugin? Rex 2020, is it? Something like that? It's been getting a lot of um, publicity in the YouTube videos recently. I'm not a huge fan personally though, at least not yet. So I will be skipping it for now. I will be sticking to the default weather. I still have a lot of confidence with the default weather. The Rex 2020, from what I heard, it's more like... A, so it applies, it gets the, the local meter, so the local weather from where you are. And it applies that weather to the entire world. And what it does is it changes the weather as you fly and as you go to different areas it detects that you are entering a different area and it so slowly transitions the weather to that area so you get that effect that illusion in a way that you are that the weather is changing but it's like it's a bit fake isn't it if, if it does it like that so globally there is a single weather and it just changes to the weather where you are when you change locations as you're moving so I don't know I'm still pretty my hopes are still with the default weather I'm not willing to shell out extra money yet 
for a third party solution but we'll see what patch 3 will bring and speaking of patch 3 that is one thing that I'm really looking forward to as I'm recording this it's the 29th of September already for me at least I live in Singapore so UTC plus 8 but I'm not sure when patch 3 will hit they did say it's the 29th of September but probably Eastern time US Eastern time so I have not seen that yet but we'll see if that will change in the near TBM1 Charlie Lima climb and maintain flight level 300 Future. climb and maintain flight level 300 TBM1 Charlie Lima good all right climbing to our cruising altitude here flight level 300 it's going to be pretty straightforward from here but yeah I'm excited what the new patch will bring I hope it will not introduce any other game breaking bugs but we will see keeping my fingers crossed and I will for sure keep you guys posted I'll probably make a video on it when it comes out so hang tight and uh, good luck to everybody <laughs> anyway alright guys uh, I'll uh, cut it here I'll bring you guys back when there's some action going alright so wish me luck and see you on the other side welcome back quite noisy in here sorry about that but I think it's worth the view because we are actually overflying Naia International Airport that's the one so part of our waypoint if you go inside for a bit part of our waypoint is Mia the VOR we are five miles away from it so we should actually be seeing it almost right below us so if we go outside again it will get noisy again there it is 30,000 feet up though looks quite small doesn't it oh that's cool oh, that looks so good and this scene is beautiful anyway let's go inside again here because i want to share with you guys something the plan I think this will make the flight a little bit more interesting so if you go to little nav map here here's the map you've traveled quite a bit already halfway through more or less what I want to do so to our top of descent is somewhere there 60 miles 60 nautical miles away from the destination and uh, I do want to descend up to or below 10,000 feet and if the weather is good there and it should be Let's check the weather. The weather over there based on NOAA should have broken clouds. Let me show it to you. Here's the rest of Little Nav map screen. So at the Grau Romeo Papa Uniform Tango, we should have VFR flight rules. Winds are pretty acceptable. Clouds, we have broken at 29,000 feet few at 1800 few at 1700 now this one is not one is the one with the simulator so it might not exactly be the same but it should be ballpark figure B similar okay so basically it's saying we should have only a few clouds so basically what we're seeing right now in front of us should remain the same not that many so what I want to do is cancel IFR and I think I should be able to do that because there is the let me bring this back sorry there is a feature in little nav map to enable the airspace this one show or hide all airspaces and you see that immediately even the philippines that's uh, completely put in so you can see here in near the vicinity of the airport you have all these class d even the class b class bravo airspace so all of those you'll need all the approvals all the the uh, radio communication if you're not flying IFR but outside here past cab is this Cabanatuan? maybe yeah Cabanatuan VOR past that one there is no airspace here anymore which leads me to believe this is what class E maybe class echo so that means if we are below 10,000 feet if I remember correctly we should be able to 
cancel IFR and just fly VFR. So we won't need any guidance anymore from air traffic control. Instead, we'll be on our own. We'll be squawking a different code and we can maybe like trace through the river here or whatever we want. But that's looking pretty promising. So if weather is good and once we're here in this area, past all those busy air spaces, we'll try to cancel IFR and fly around and have a nice tour of the place. Because Tugigarao is 6,440 feet above mean sea level. So uh, yeah, it's pretty high up there. And maybe there are mountains in the vicinity as well. We'll see how it looks. Anyway, looking forward to that one. Hey guys, welcome back. We are nearing our destination. We have started our descent. Currently on flight level 227, 22.6, 22.6, descending to flight level 160. And I have been trying to look for documents on what the VFR altitudes are. I have not been very successful though, so we're going to assume some stuff here. If you know more about this topic, you let me know, because as always, we are all constantly learning. So I'm going to assume something. We are currently in this area already, outside any of the major airspaces. So I'm going to assume that we are in a class E airspace. The only thing I've seen that is that in a class E airspace, we are actually, um, I think in VFR rules at least, there has been mention of altitudes up to flight level 200. So I'm not sure if there's even an altitude restriction when it comes to VFR flights. But that being said, we do have some thick clouds in here, which is quite different from the the NOAA um, thing that I saw. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can still proceed VFR, but uh, we'll be continuing our descent. And uh, once we punch through these clouds below, we'll see if things, things look much better and more VFR worthy. Ah, uh, finally, starting to see the terrain below. Clouds are starting to thin out. We are getting pretty low here though. We're actually, we've actually been given vectors by ATC now. We're being, being vectored into the final. But we'll see once we punch through these clouds if we can cancel IFR and just go VFR flying here. Explore the scenery TDM a bit better. Charlie Lima, turn right heading 028. Turn right heading 028, TBM on Charlie Lima. Okay, this time I must not forget. This is always the number one thing I forget. And on air always punishes me for it. Crossing 10,000 feet, below 10,000 feet, we should turn on our landing lights. This is mostly applicable. Inertial separator is on. Perfect for going through the clouds. There we go, 10,000 feet. There you go. No penalties from on air, at least from that regard. TBM 1 Charlie Lima, turn left, heading 023. TBM 1 Charlie Lima descend and maintain 5,100 feet. Descend and maintain 5,100 feet, TBM 1 Charlie Lima. One TBM second. 1 Charlie Lima maintain 5,100 feet. Oh, I read that wrong. Remember when I told you guys a while ago the airport is 6,440 feet above? Um, I read that wrong. <laughs> the 6440 feet here is the runway length. It's actually only 74 feet above mean sea level. So not really high up. That's a good that's a good thing. Okay. So what we can do now, we can steepen our descent. So we have more time for enjoying the scenery below. Let me go descend at 3,000 feet per minute here just so we can punch through what runway are they going to lead us to runway 17 I think 
will probably be taking that one as well but uh, what we'll be doing they have a term for this I, I forgot uh, something along dead something you guys told me about it but it's pretty cool it's something that uh, you do you fly over the airport first the runway then you get additional information as you fly over the runway what the winds are like what's the situation like and then you join the downwind or whichever runway you choose or is active at that point okay that looks good please give me further clearance go below we went beyond our assigned altitude there a bit but it's catching up I should have punched through there already yeah maybe I can still do that let's do it center TBM1 Charlie Lima cancelling IFR well they're not responding TBM1 Charlie Lima Roger radar service terminated frequency change approved enjoy your morning Looking good. So let's go and squawk VFR here. I think it should be 7,000 outside the US, but I'm not so sure there. But what we'll do is we'll try and avoid the clouds. There we go. There should be some minimums here. One mile away from the clouds, this might be a bit too close in reality. But some creative freedom maybe. But this just so we're a bit more it's a bit more exciting we put in 2000 feet as our altitude selected altitude there there we go that's more like it this is more fun now we have to slow down here i think with vfr you have some speed limitations as well oh, beautiful terrain below this just gives us a lot more freedom that is looking great this is the fun in flight sim 2020 enjoying the scenery like this as we fly that is beautiful right let me put runway 17 on the heading here just so i have a bit of guidance i think runway heading is 174 for this airport all right Let's keep it at 2,000 feet. I have landing lights on. I am below 200 knots. Looking good. Okay. Now let's tune in to the frequency. I think it's 122.8 into Bigarao. Just for traffic purposes. Alright. I don't think there's any traffic in here. Let's not fall below 2,000 feet. Let's climb back up just so we get a bit more clearance in here and let me get myself stable a bit coming from autopilot like that always I always require a bit of time few minutes to get myself reacquainted with the flight controls I wonder how real pilots do it huh must be pretty disorienting at times you fly for like three hours autopilot and then suddenly you have to take over and uh, bring back all your uh, awareness and all your skills but i guess in real pilots uh, case they already have that like a muscle memory kind of thing so i'm traveling east here because i do want to trace the river all the way through right there it is 2000 feet let's maintain that there it is or less 2000 trying to trim it let's trim it bit by bit until we get there it's quite bumpy though interestingly enough even though the winds are not that strong you can see a small town here already let's have a look at little nav map of what it is in really It's quite homey this area huh it's very it, you can imagine the how fresh 
the air smells like here. There's Tugigarao City. I've never been. But it does look like a city from the map. I would imagine it should also look like that if you look below. There it is in front of us. Oh, this is nice for a change. And flying for a change. We've mostly done IFR flights. It's kind of... Uh, yeah, I miss the... I miss flying like this. This is the real essence of Flight Sim 2020. It might not be the best in the actual simulation elements. Accuracy with the avionics, flight planning and everything. But when it comes to hand flying like this and enjoying the scenery, there is nothing else that comes close. This is where it really shines. There's the city. There's the airport right in front of us. I see it. There it is. There should be a bridge here on our left. That's why that's what I'm looking for. But I doubt it's properly modeled. I would be even happy if yeah, there is that bridge. There it is. I'm not sure how it looks in real life. Buntun Bridge is what they say. But yeah, it looks like just a generic bridge here. Okay, so let's overfly the airport. I guess normally you would also call something like uh, to get out traffic, TBM1 Charlie Lima, three miles southwest to Wigarao. Or something like to Wigarao traffic, TBM1 Charlie Lima, crossing midfield. I, I don't know the, the correct terms. You guys teach me. But we should be overflying it right here. We zoom in on the map so we can have some visual guidance. There it is. Oh, there's actually apparently a VOR here as well. Can I see the airport? Let me see. Let me. Yeah, there it is. Exactly. Now, I doubt we can find the the wind sock in this condition but at the very least we can see the winds using our pfd so if we fly over the runway itself there it is the runway and we see here three three four at two knots so that means actually runway three four is better in this case so that means i turn right so i would say something like let's see do we get out traffic tbm1 charlie lima Joining right downwind runway 34 to get out traffic. Maybe something like that. So let's plug in runway 346, heading 346. There you go. It's just so I have a bit more guidance. So 174 degrees. Um, is that the right one? Yeah, this should be, we should be on the downwind leg here. Runway should be right there behind us. Okay. All right, that looks good. Flaps down. Take off uh, one notch of flaps to slow down. We are in the safe speeds here. Let's do one more. By lowering the landing gear, should e get even get even more drag to slow us down that is looking good from where we are to get out traffic tbm1 charlie lima turning right base runway 34 to get out traffic okay do we see the runway from here we should see it on our right There it is. Oh. To get out traffic, TBM1 Charlie Lima. Turning final, runway 34. To get out traffic. Alright, we have to continue our descent here. Slow down. Below 122 knots. Oh, we are a bit high. But we'll make it work somehow. 
green. We have three greens there. That looks good. Full flaps extending. Turn off the yaw damper. That looks good. All right. We are pretty high. Have to do a forward slip. No, maybe not. Maybe we don't need to. Yeah, we don't need to. We'll make it through. So pitch up. Lose a bit of that airspeed. We are targeting 85 knots as our approach speed here. Winds have become very weird suddenly. Okay, there we go. That's okay. 85 knots. Don't go below. 500. Check. Those, these call outs are made possible using a mod as well. Oh, now that looks like a bug, doesn't it? <laughs> Is that a building or terrain? Building on top of a building. Oh no, maybe it's just a green building. Yeah. Okay. Not the most stable approach. But I'll take it. There we go, catching up with the papi lights. Alright. Okay, throttling down. Let's just calm that wind out. Oh. Landing time. There we go. Landed I can take that. Papa uniform tango to gig her out. Reverser going into beta. I think we can make this here. There we go. Save up a bit on the back taxi. Flaps up. Landing lights off. Taxi lights on. Heaters off. All good here. Now where is our entourage? Uh, they think it's that guy. But there's a truck blocking the way. Hmm. It's a bit of a shame. Well, we can maybe just follow it this way. Yeah, these ground vehicles I'm not really a huge fan of. If this keeps up, I'll just turn them off fully. Good. Let's leave it there. So a bit of a different flight today, a bit more free. Let me know if you guys want more of this kind of thing, or you want the full IFR procedure once. Or we can mix it up as always. Anyway, everything, all the combinations are good. Looking forward to what patch 3 will bring. Stay tuned for that one. We will see how it works. Till then, keep safe guys. Clumsy flying. You let me know of your own adventures. And we'll see how it goes. Did I forget anything? Ah, that should be good. Engine off time logged. End of flight. Registered in on-air company. Awesome. I thought it just crashed on me. Phew. Oh, it, and it even captured this end of flight thing. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Close that. Now, I did accelerate the time a bit so it might not actually do that yet yeah the xp and credits will be awarded when the warp is finished but we supposedly leveled up already because we finished all the missions for level three we got all the xp bonuses comfort safety aircraft handling Reputation increase 0.33%. No penalties. Nice. Awesome. So what does that do? Uh, are we still level 3? Let's have a look. Home. Does that work okay? Yeah, still level 3. But once the time warp is good, we will be level 4. And uh, we'll see. But we will make our way to Japan, guys. That's why I was flying northbound. So we are a bit closer to Japan. This is where we are right now to get out near the northern edge of the Philippines now. Because Japan is pretty close. Turn off the airspace. That's Taiwan right there. And Japan is already this one. 
Um, is it? Yeah, I think so. And there's the main Japan part. So we are pretty close to Japan. And with the world update that should have come already by the time you watch this, we'll be spending majority of our time there. So we'll see how it looks. Anyway, thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments. And uh, come see flying, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.